What's up, Reap Squad? Back at it again with another Grim Watch video. We about to watch Strange Things Caught on Camera. Now, y'all know me. I'm going to say if I feel like it's Cap, and I'm going to explain why. So, further enough, let's keep reaping, baby. Nah, I'm not gonna hold you. you. Just pull my dog's leg. No bueno. How you doing? I'm Callan, and this is Slapped Hand. Oh, gee. Today we're looking at some freaky clips that you need to see to believe. So hit that subscribe. I ain't gonna hold you. Slap Ham have the best video collection. Like you can never go wrong with Slap Ham. I make sure I put their link in the original video down below. Definitely go check it out. Also hit that subscribe button. And the bell so you can get notified when Grim is watching. Mm. And comment down below what you want me to watch. Let's get it. Let's keep reaping, baby. Subscribe button and get ready for more creepy content. Just like this. This clip, which was uploaded to TikTok by Tara S. Nocturnal, shows something that so far no one's been able to quite explain. The camera holder says that she's at work and that something super strange has been captured on their security cameras. Followed by another colleague, they show us an elevator area at the workplace. They explain that this is where the strange sighting took place. See, and I understand why they want it as a pair because you're not about to catch me in that parking lot. It was over here. It was over here. You're not about to catch me in that parking lot at all, whatsoever, by myself, man or not. Like, at the end of the day, that's how you get in, like, like first 48 episodes. <laughs> it's already creepy. Even if you minus the supernatural or the metaphysical. Like that's already creepy. But if, let's keep it. Let's just keep reaping. Check in esto, por favor. Y les anexo la now take a look at what the cameras caught. See, I don't know. I feel like this could be Cap only because I didn't see like old people with bad posture or like humps or like severe like arthritis kind of issues. And I didn't see them like literally bent all the way over walking and they'll be talking to you like this where they're bent over. Like, so I didn't see this on like some regular, regular thing. So this could be Cap. They, they could just been going to their appointment and just wasn't either in the wrong place or they just mind their business you know like i mean yeah i mean but at the same time i can't say it's 100 percent cat because i wasn't there you know so i don't know how accurate this is an eerie figure walks by the elevators Whatever it is, it has a severe hunch and limps with a strange gait. Mm. That look creepy though. No one at the workplace has been able to identify this figure and the sighting remains a complete mystery. Nope. There's one thing you need to like, do. Like that's not something I'm about to be doing. I don't know. And I mean they must have knew something was creepy going on in the building. They went in pairs, so I don't know. I, I, I don't know. E daqui a pouco vai ser Natal. Camila Larez is a prominent Brazilian social media influencer with millions of loyal fans across oh, the world. Sad. Her regular content tends to be vlogs and challenges on YouTube. However, she recently posted a dance to TikTok and Instagram, and people are getting freaked out by what's being captured. Take a look. At first, it's incredibly hard to spot. Okay, I kind of saw but it in the, the background. Falls over, if we slow it down, you can see what looks like a transparent person in the background. Yeah. They have an ethereal quality about them and don't appear as defined or detailed mm. as you'd expect someone to be over that distance. Yeah, I don't know. They're like, <laughs> kind of like Waterman or something. Or like, it was a movie where... 
the god Poseidon had came out of the water as water and then turned into a man. So that that gives me that kind of uh, I think it was might have been Percy Jackson. It gave me that kind of Percy Jackson kind of vibe. When the clip hit social media, it quickly went viral. Thousands of comments poured in, trying to make sense of the eerie yeah, figure. Yeah, it was for a real quick. Naturally, second. a lot of people immediately said it was a ghost while others thought it could be a hoax, saying that a cut in the footage might have happened when the camera falls over, allowing them to stage the figure in the background. Given that Lorez is an influencer, it's possible this could be a stunt for views. Yeah, or it could have just been think? like a glitch. Is this a ghost like, caught on camera? Or just camera. a plain old hoax? Like the Let pixelation. Let me know down below. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That, that's a little odd. At the northernmost tip of the Blue Ridge Mountain Range in Maryland, USA, there's tales of an old wizard that once lived in a rural area known as South Mountain. He was known for curing fevers, dog bites, and like sealing up Wibberly gunshot with, uh, wounds with magic. Place. Born in 1798, Michael Ziddle Jr., or the Wizard of South Mountain as he later became known, was one of seven children born to a German father and American mother. The remote Boonesboro area of Maryland was at the time already steeped in the occult and traditions of magic and ritual. Like, I'm not gonna hide that waterfall is like so dope. Like this whole aesthetic on how this looks, it looks amazing. Like I would shoot a movie there. Yeah, I would definitely shoot a movie there. Oh, um, by the way, guy, your boy Grim makes horror movies. Yeah, and I got some supernatural stuff out there. Yeah, but check it out. Hey. <laughs> Oh yeah, so I also did production work on a movie called Till My Casket Drop. I'll put the title and the link down below so y'all can go check out the movie on Tubi. Y'all might y'all might enjoy it. And I got a few of actors you guys may know if you watch things like Snowfall and BMF. So keep on look out for some more content created by me and also by Queen Norris, Tajir S. Hawkins, and so much more so many more of us um also we got artists going on it's gonna be dope so let's keep reaping y'all see that on the channel so just make sure you hit that bell because it's a lot of stuff coming soon ritual supernatural phenomena were said to be a common occurrence in the area local villagers shared tales of floating balls of light illuminating the forests at night and the infamous great black dog an enormous cryptid with a large red mouth filled with razor sharp fangs Given the region's appetite for the paranormal, it's no surprise that Michael Ziddle Jr. quickly became known as a healer and conjurer of magic. Mm. 19th century author and innkeeper Madeleine Vinton Dahlgren says that she was able to translate from German one of Ziddle's black handwritten spell books. Mm. The initial spells in the book were said to describe ways in which locals could induce a thief to return stolen items. Mm. The following incantation is for someone who lost their horse to a thief. Take the pitchfork and stick it where the horse stood. Call the horse by name and say, I trample thee, I stick thee, I bite thee. Thou shalt come back and thou shalt turn the thief's hand quickly, even as the wind or the fish that swim in the water or the birds that fly in the woods, or else thou shalt lie under the sod. Come quickly and be swift. Demand for Ziddle's abilities grew to an unmanageable level. Villagers from far and away... Yo, know, people don't know how like real that stuff is. Like, it's a science to it. Like, even when things like crystals, crystal harness a certain kind of energy. And this ain't about like spirituality or religion or your opinions or a belief system or some faith. Like, this is something that's scientifically proven to have some energy source and being able to use it and manipulate it. And you have to use the common sense of okay if this is true how is that being used well guess what your Chris, your phone has crystals your calculator has crystals solar panels are giant crystals you know compressorized glass or a uh, stone or a material um, and that's what crystals are, you know, so if it can harness that kind of power and transmit it into some lasers as well, powered by, by crystals, you can't power a laser without one. So with that being said, it's a matter of facts and science versus a spirituality or opinion. And a lot of people get lost into it 
like I don't believe it so it's not true and it's like well if you merge the two and I think that's where ancient times uh, were able to do and that's why they were so more further advanced mentally than we are today because they were able to conceive the two as equal and not as something that's separate and I think that's what we kind of fall into today today so many people believe it's separate when all actuality it's it's together it works and operates in units you can't have one with the out the other can't have science without spirituality can't have spirituality without a little science so i mean magic as well like the and the subconscious mind is so powerful like people talk about the law of attraction there's physicists talking about law of attraction and the frequencies we're putting out to the universe i can talk about forever but i'm not gonna <laughs> not gonna <laughs> you know talk your ear off on this one so we're gonna finish this video maybe in the next video we can go into crystals they were queuing up to be healed or cured from various afflictions according to historians Zittle never asked for money or compensation for work however when demand became overwhelming he decided to pen a book and sell it in an effort to help more people the book was called a friend in need or secret science mm. after the book hit shelves it said that like Zittle's abilities heard. disappeared Many believe it's because he tried to commercialize his gift that the magic dried up. Following the alleged loss of his abilities, Zittel fell into depression and great poverty. He died in 1877. Decades later, in 1975... Give me one second, guys. Alright, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> one of Zittel's books were found among a pile of dust and debris. Miss Pauline Routson, who lived under the old inn once owned by Madeline Vinton Dahlgren, discovered the old Tome of Magic. Then, several years later, the original German manuscript was also discovered. Both volumes are now kept safely in the Boonesboro Museum of History. So what do you think of the Wizard of South Mountain? Have you ever heard of the story? Perhaps you've lost your horse and are in need of some bygone incantations? Let me know where you land on all this in the comments down below. Mm. Like yeah, definitely comments. Like, what do y'all think? Like, do y'all think this story could be ha like be accurate or have some truth to it, or is this a whole bunch of like BS? Like, we should just crown it like in a cap of the year. <laughs> like, I should throw a emoji on there or something. <laughs> but yeah, so I don't know. You guys, you guys, let me know. Like, I think some some things are just really good legends. Um. And it's good for storytelling and lessons to learn. Um, but I also don't knock it because there could be a truth to it. And sometimes the truth, the actual truth, is way worse than a story. So, mm. <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. Like, I feel there could be, like, it could be either i don't know i feel like there's some truth to it i feel like there's some truth to it especially with the book of spells and the magic aspect because i believe so much into that and i didn't you know witness things that i, I it's hard for me not to believe it uh when i've seen it you know seen things with my own eyes that's hard to explain that i've tried to you know have an explanation of it before so i don't know like some things you just and and when you can't explain it it's like what else can you go with it you know besides something <laughs> mm. the following photo seems to show something that no one could quite explain tiktok bag. user alinda says that they discovered this photo of their younger brother opening presents on what we can presume is his birthday However, the family was disturbed by the presence of a person in the what? background. Oh no one in the family can recognize Ooh. the lady and have no idea why she would be in the photo. Yo, that just gave me goosebumps. Like, I don't know if y'all can see that. Like, for me, the thought of seeing an actual spirit in my present, like, already freaks me out. But let alone in a photo or a video, like, that man... Not only did I not know you were there, but you were watching me. Like, it's different when I know I'm being watched. 
you know, versus not knowing I'm being watched and then later being told you are watched. That's a whole nother level of fear. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe oh, I'm crazy. Let alone at a family gathering. The aunts of the family told the OP's mother that she should burn the photograph immediately. Mm. <laughs> I guess she was like, all right. The photo is an old printout from film, so we can assume no Photoshop trickery is happening here, and the lady doesn't look like the result of double exposure either. Mm. So given that the family can't identify the woman, nor can they fathom why she'd even be in their house, one has to wonder what's really being captured here. I would put cameras up everywhere. <laughs> Like, I need to know. <laughs> this next clip, uploaded to TikTok by Inversions S. Meccano, seems to show something strange happening to a dog, and many viewers are calling it paranormal. Yeah, that's Watch. paranormal. Like, what? Like, Watching what? that again, it looks like something grabs the dog by the leg. Yeet. <laughs> Some have said a ghost that snatched at the poor pooch, but is this really what's going on here? Some commenters suggested perhaps the dog stood on something sharp, like a prickle. Others said it almost looks like the dog is stretching out a cramp. No, he so was about to bite the prickle, hand and cramp, just pulled ghost. his leg. Let your votes That's rip in the comments down below. No, we're going to break this part down real quick. No, because what it looked like was he was like, because I didn't pull my dog leg before just messing with her. So when you pull a leg like that and they're surprised, they're trying to reach back to like, you know, snap on the person that just, you know, the hand that's on their foot. So if you look back, he looks back as though he's about to like nip somebody. Watching that again, it looks like, like something grabs the dog by the leg. So right here, you see the leg is up, right? But when you see him kind of like turn around, it looks like, sorry, looks like, all right, let's go. See, like he tried to Some snap Some have said a ghost it. snatched at the poor pooch. Yeah, he tried but to is snap. this really what's going on here? Like, yeah, he Some commenters snap suggested really perhaps the dog stood on something sharp like a prickle. Others said it almost looks like the dog is stretching out a cramp. No, like he was so what do you think? Prickle, cramp, or ghost? Let your votes rip in the comments down below. I didn't seen a dog do that before. Like I didn't seen a dog step on something. Before we take a look at some eerie hurt, home security footage, that, remember to hit that subscribe button, her, then tickle that little bell icon there and turn on all channel notifications. Like that way channel. you'll be in the loop every time we drop Please. our scary and creepy content. Sticking with strange things happening to animals, our last clip of the day shows something truly odd. The clip was uploaded to TikTok by Les Mikis. Take a look. Oh, hell nah. He literally just picked the cat up and took him off the bed. The footage comes from the OP's home security camera placed inside nope. their bedroom. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the cat gets lifted up into the air, as if by some unseen presence. Yeah, I mean, could have been a dude wearing a The description, screen. which is in Spanish, says that the OP believes their cat protects them from ghosts. Cats have long been associated with supernatural and paranormal phenomena. For centuries, cats have been seen as mysterious creatures that oh, can that detect unseen like energies, dark, yeah. such as ghosts and spirits. From ancient Egypt to the present day, cats have been credited with extraordinary powers of intuition and protection from evil forces. Many cultures around the world view cats as protectors against supernatural events, including witches, ghosts and other spooky creatures. Some people believe that cats can even predict when a ghost or spirit is in the area. In mm. some cases, people report their cats staring at something that isn't there, or playing with an invisible object that no one else can see. Mm -hmm. However, some keen-eyed viewers aren't quite buying the ghost theory about that this clip. They believe you can see the cat being subtly lifted by the person in the bed. No, nah, not by the person in the... Oh, okay, possibly, yeah. Yeah. So what do you think? I was Are we seeing a cat interact with a ghost? Screen. Or is there a more simple explanation to this footage? Let no, me there's definitely some more. Okay. Yeah, you can In see. In some cases, okay. people report their cats staring at something now, that look, isn't there. It is. This or is cat. Playing with this is cat. All right. So look, this is cat. Because when he said that, I saw it. So. 
visible object go back, that no one else can see. To see it, However, right? some keen-eyed viewers aren't okay, quite buying so the ghost in. theory about. Okay, so look, ah, uh, you can't see my cursor. Okay, let me move this to the side so I can point to it. I want over here. Okay, dang, I still can't point to it. So if you go. Mm, okay right where they head is right here you go where they head is like right out there you can see it look like their head is turned like they're looking back like they're looking back like this right but if they're wearing white or whatever color their sh bed sheets are it'll look like the cat was kind of floating so when you do a zoom in Looks like their arm is stretched up over like this and they turn back. At this they clip, the cat they believe you can see the See? You can see their face next to the cat. The cat being and then subtly lift. It looked like he they're turning now. So because you can't see their head anymore. And then their arm goes Dead over. by the person in the bed. See, look at that. Close up. Boom. Pick up. Yup. He picked that bad boy up. He picked the cat up yo that that almost had me that almost got me that was about to that almost got me because i was like but i did say it could have been doing the green screen but that was even more clever because i guess somebody in a green screen can be an obvious if you're not good at editing that well but this could be a practical you know fake ghost video done effortlessly that was great so what do you think are we seeing a cat interact with a ghost or is there a more simple explanation to this footage let me know down below mm -hmm. cat and then you saw their legs move like they were now if you want more to the video like that's yeah i mean like they're settling back into place but yeah, I mean, if you guys enjoyed that, definitely subscribe, hit the like button. Let's get these algor them algorithms going so that way I can be on the top of y'all page and y'all get more content from me. I want to produce. I want to create more content. And we're also about crowdfunding. So you want to see more horror films, more content, definitely feel free to follow our page, donate, do whatever you want, share, post, love us, give us all the love. We we just look, we out here for it, you know. So we out here reaping and all that. We doing it. We doing it. We doing it. We doing it. All right. <laughs> Let me get off y'all screen. Y'all have a dope day. Enjoy. Stay tuned to more Grim Watch. <laughs> okay. All right. Y'all keep reaping, baby.